Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am joined by ASMR specialist Justice. Hello. Justice. Yes. Can you perform the ASMR at me? Not live on stage, unfortunately. I need my okay. solo time in order to be able to summon up the gods of ASMR. Okay. And I move on from there. Okay. Well, uh, as you can probably tell, uh, this is not a live stream. This is a, uh, a as they call a, a VOD. It's not a live stream? This is not a live stream. Do you know, do you know why it's not a live stream, Justice? I do, you know do not happen to know why this is not a live stream. It's Please enlighten me. the Overwatch League, the Overwatch League, mm. is broadcasting right now. Okay, oh. you ask, what does that have to do with anything? Well, Sweet. Big Big Daddy Blizzy, they don't want no uh, no uh, tournaments, no other Overwatch tournaments airing during the Overwatch League. Is this for real? This is dead ass real rule in the 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 big old rule book. <laughs> So now, <laughs> God damn it, cast please. via VOD. And uh, if you're wondering if, if this is the same with other Blizzard esports, StarCraft, uh, Heroes of the whatever that game is, no, World of Warcraft. That's not true. We can Heart's you true. can stream a, a StarCraft tourney during WCS. It's all good. Overwatch, though. No. No! Jeff, Jeff Kaplan needs his Overwatch League with as many viewers as possible. Yeah, I, I don't like this uh, very hands-on approach that Blizzard has with Overwatch. Uh, on the esports side, I very think that's a little heavy-handed, and yeah, like get your hands out of my spaghetti, please. Like, come on, dude, I can eat this myself. Yeah, I don't know where your hands have been. Exactly, get your hands and... out of my spaghetti, Jeffy. And since this is Blizzard, you know these hands have been going places you don't really want them to have been. Yeah, if you know, know what I'm saying. Oh, I, I know what you're saying. So, uh, Blizzard. Uh, don't talk to me, please. Let us play our video games. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Please. Okay, I need to give this guy my... my b -tab. I still don't know how to join spectators manually. Means people can't see my my fancy cat scorecard live on the air. Live on the air, live on stream. Live on VOD. It does look nice though. Cracky, you're uh, you're pretty handy with these things. Uh, why is that? <laughs> it's because I'm a professional. Justice, I'm kind of a big shot. Really? I get my suck. <laughs> I was about to say I get my suck dicked. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's another way of putting it. Oh, you want me to invite you? Oh yeah, that'd probably be beneficial. Yeah, that'll be beneficial. Yeah. Hello. Vic is here. Hello. Yes. Uh, Philly Fusion. Uh, the team we uh, we casted for last time. I remember them. Was that last time? That was last time. Huh. 
was it um was it filmy yeah it was philly fusion against deadlock right that is correct deadlock won with their sick sombra strats and oh, that's right. the sneaky, i think it was sneaky, danger man sombra -chan. the immaculate reinhardt player the, the, the very Genji. dangerous But see, already I'm not really liking this, because are these all Philly Fusion players, or are these also Banned by the Way players? Because I'm seeing a lot of uh, Philadelphia Fusion icons, and I'm not a big fan of that. You, you, don't, you don't like all the peas? No, there's too many peas. You don't like the pee peas? No, no. There's like eight right now. Too much pee pee for you. Too much for pee -pee pee -pee Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll let him know. Not the biggest fan of pee -pees. Shit. <laughs> it's Sorry, topo much. <laughs> it's topo much. It's a Pharaoh reference. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, do you know the maps for tonight? Um, there's Hanamura. <laughs> uh huh. You're right. I mean. You know, when you're right, you're right. Well, <laughs> I'm never wrong, Justice. Don't you ever question. Okay, I won't. I'm just gonna take a look at potential additional maps. There's less uh, PP, uh, by the way. Yeah, I noticed. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy. Not gonna lie. Mm. There it is. So, stage one matches. Y you know what else is, uh, is a pretty silly? What is pretty Overwatch? silly? A lot of things. Uh, Il Ilios, right? Yeah. What, uh, what game mode would you consider that? Ilios? What would you call, is it that, uh, you call King of the Hill? <laughs> oh, just a silly boy. It's called a control map, silly. Because you have to control the point. Uh, I get it now. You see, because Blizzard created that game mode. So, <laughs> whatever they call it, that's, that's, what, that's what it's called. Blizzard is, in fact, very creative. Especially with uh, some of their mechanics, such as uh, sliding off slanted roofs. <laughs> Just to make sure you don't stand on them and have well, a height advantage. What 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 would you categorize? Let's say let's say um, uh, let's, what was um I'm trying to think of uh oh the 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 Mexican one. Uh, Dorado. Dora El Dorado. That's it. Isn't that just a payload map? <laughs> Justice. Just to be fair, <laughs> escort is not escort kind of makes sense, right? Because payload is directly from TF2, I think. I think, unless of course TF2 stole it from everyone else. <laughs> exactly. But escort is not too bad. It makes sense. But it's literally what you're doing. But m memes aside, I am not gonna call. A King of the Hill map, a control map. That's silly. That is a game mode that had existed before Jeff Kaplan even put his big fucking creepy hands on the game. And I, I, I will be calling payload maps payload maps. Which I know. think everyone will understand, though do note that for that reason, we will never find ourselves on the official 
Overwatch League caster test. That's right. Because we got to follow these rules. That's right. And, then, and mind you, Jeff, I don't care, Jeff. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> no means oh, no. Man. No, <laughs> no means no, Jeff. Get your big esports hands out of everyone's esports. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> God damn it, Jeff and Blizzard, Jeffrey. Whatever, it's fine. You know, maybe one day they'll learn. I know that Overwatch League, just in general, is very strict with their players, um, be it behavior-wise and most other things. Oh, but yeah. like, uh, are they like one of the? Are they pretty much the only one company that is that finds it this important to have this level of control on their esports scene? Oh yes. Cause yes. man, it, like first of all, it's different for Hearthstone, which is very popular. We need the mainstream yeah, audience. Very popular. World of Warcraft, not so much not not so popular. There's not really any tournaments, I think, that are not official. I put I put as I put R in in the thing. Is that you know? And yeah, I yeah, that's actually it's actually pretty good. And I mean, no one plays Heroes of the, Heroes of the Storm anymore because that game kind of messed up just based on its concept alone. Like, come on, bro, you don't have to be that fancy. It's a goddamn MOBA. What do you need, to... Blizzard? <laughs> That's my problem with Blizzard. Bring Everything has to be special and fancy. We're on the Asian map, Justice. Do you feel at home? <laughs> <laughs> I am home. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, Hanamura. Now, Hanamura, I don't think is a good map. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a messy not, one. Not my favorite of the pool. No. Oh, right. Speaking of pool, no. Speaking of map pools, we're not talking about. Speaking of swimming general. pool. Yeah. Maybe next time. The maps for tonight are ass the f the assault map, as we can see, is Hanamura. The hybrid map is King's Row. The control map is Nepal, and the escort map is Junker Town. Again. And the tiebreaker is Li Shang Tower. What's the what's the escort mode, Justin? I don't know what that is. Escort mode is when you are pushing around the big goddamn cart with a bomb on it to uh, the final distance. No, okay. Yeah, man, they're they're going right now. Well, I mean, I was confused because like, <laughs> I saw two teams fronting each other. Like, I thought maybe something was happening. Yeah, at least we're gonna get some different maps tonight. Like, I'm excited for King's Bro. I like that map. That's a good one. It is a, an excellent one. And Nepal is okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. Ba, be, da, da, ba, ba, ba. We'll get the, the sound effects and music eventually, but <laughs> okay. for, in the meanwhile, I'll just do that myself. Yeah, well, please, yes. In, Gotta practice in, these vocals. On the blue team side, we got. Phil Philly Fusion. Bom ba 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 ba. On the in the red trunks on the opposite corner we got um uh band BTW. Which stands for by the way. Ba ba ba. Was it was it stand for by the way? It stands for by the way. What does it stand for? It stands for, quote, by the way, end quote, BTW. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. <laughs> you done? So, you know, seeing anything interesting? I'm seeing a Hanzo here. I'm seeing the a classic on the attack Hanzo. Side. <laughs> uh, which I don't think it's too bad. I mean, you can spam these, I mean, chokes, you know, they're not that tight. One of them is, but... Yes, and the gate provides a lot of cover yeah. for the ferret. 
Yeah, so it's it's always a good pick, I think. There is generally a lot of cover on this Five, side, so long as you four, don't stand in the middle. Three, two, one. Well, usually you'll have, like, a Reinhardt there instead, so... You're pretty much covered. They did go for the classic Junkrat strat, and they went for the Titus choke, too. Which I, I don't agree with. <laughs> then again, they didn't know they had a Pharah. And Farah's taking so Ooh. much damage that she died, so... An early pick on the far there. Yeah, it's little, pretty much her time to go in. Little too aggressive, to although... Oh, I think that's what it was. They didn't go in immediately because Orisa put her shield down in the doorway, so they couldn't really get a good angle on them. But yeah, that was the time. And now they lost their Zen already, which is... Oh, never mind. You got rest. So... At least they're gonna be able to get that offense back up. But, but then again, they're not really getting any kills from that, and far is back on deck. Here's their chance, though. Pushing in now. Oh, there you go. There's some good picks. Well, I don't think anyone's taking care of that far, so she's Ooh, just John taking... Grad taking down both of the... You know, I guess there. these, uh... Spot shots didn't really work out. They're really walking in there. There you go, an easy, easy first point take. Do you think they hold that better? Had the Pharah been there more? Uh, considering she died immediately, I think so. I think that could have been... I think that could have been at least beneficial. To, you know, just beneficial. Beneficial, indeed. Yeah, I don't want to throw in my, uh... My votes all over the place. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put it that way. And they have the far ulti now, too. Which is surprising, considering she was only there for, like, two minutes at best. Right. Well, the oh, classic, left uh, here. left shot. I got, yeah, if you're watching TW. Oh, oh big, big ult. ult! Followed by the classic mm. far ult. I don't... Okay, if it's just those two, I'll accept it. Ooh. Look That's... at that stagger, though. Oh, <laughs> Aww. Mercy oh, went to boy. shake hands with the, uh, the rest of the team. But then she got shaken. Oh yeah, a little shunk. Oh, actually, defending side has a widow now. Defending side is Philly Fusion, right? That's correct. Blue side team, Philly Fusion yeah. defending. So, yeah, Philly's got a Philly's got a widow. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think widow's too good on the band. Band point. does, however, have five, uh, four, about to be five ults. Oof. Yeah, they. Mm, they, I mean, it's they, always hard to say. Yes, it always depends on the execution, but they, they yeah. have the potential to send them. They to have Pound the City. advantage. Oh, and Ooh. Reinhardt has fallen down. Now is the time. Like, they should get in there. Oh, we got a Diva ulti. No pinks. <laughs> and already oh, two picks like... from uh, Philly. Yeah, they're. Well, I think they took the right decision to uh, not throw in all their ultis at once. Yes, that was very... Especially since the first one failed. Yeah, that was very good not to waste all of them. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, well. Suicide strat. <laughs> was that intentional? I missed that. I mean, it had I, to be, right? I... Maybe? I'm not sure, because they didn't switch oh, off the no, Ursa. Yeah, I think it's, um, they backed all the way. They just want to make sure that they wouldn't get, like, ult charge. They want to, kept, they, they wanted to keep I that see. advantage. I see. Well, you know, Philly only has Zen on deck with ulti. They'll get far immediately after, but Zen ulti is pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good defensive ulti. <laughs> Into the iris. And the real initiating with the dragons, uh, with which pops the Zen. But that is one, even one less uh, ultimate for Philly, and looks like Blue's going on the. Ooh, missed that ultimate. Missed that earth shot. Missed the big ol' smash. Yeah, and they seem a little disorganized on how to take what this. What is on the point right now? Is it a Sombra? Uh, I that was just Mercy flying around, I think. Oh, I see. I see. And there you go. Band, by the way, pushed back again. 
you know, how do you think they could have done that better? Because they got the Hanzo ulti on the whole team, which made Zen use his own. But they didn't really go in with it. Right, they had um, the Junkrat ultimate as well, I believe. Which they could have used right after the Zen ulti for a side... Uh, I don't even know. Side explosion? Side bombing? Widow v. Widow. Oh, there we go. Now both sides have a Widow. Might see some sick sharpshooter duels. Oof. Well, it's not... I guess you could consider Zen a sharpshooter. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it's kind of... <laughs> that's a yeah. that's sub night. Sub night. Pooping, yeah. poopy dooping on that zen. <laughs> yeah. Very aggressive push here by the defense. I mean, have they tried uh, going not upstairs? Ooh. They haven't. I think they should. Because <laughs> yeah, this it, is not eventually. I mean, they've got two minutes left, right? They start. They started at six, if not seven. Yeah, they've got two. Oh, okay, there you go, that's a pick. Let's walk in there. Oh, guys. And actually... Um... What's their name? Banned by the way's Widow got sniped once more, but not, uh, not by Widow this time, just by, uh... Lonesome Pharah. Just walking around, throwing rockets. See? That's the thing with these teams. Currently, they're just in a standstill, and even when they got that kill on Zarya, they didn't walk in. I think it was pretty right, evident that Mercy that... would have got for a res. So they could have used that opportunity to just kill the Mercy as well. Yeah. But you know, stairwell, no problem. Just walking up the stairs with uh, Farah shooting your team from behind. <laughs> Grumpy Z were finally with a kill on Sub Nine. Starting ultis, let's go. Earth Shatter completely snuffed out by that uh, the Diva kill. Now they have penetrated and pounded three of the players. <sighs> that, yeah, there you go. That should be enough, I think. If they can keep that tire, they 100% can take that right now. Ah, uh, yes, the whole. <sighs> Hand in the corner with the shield up. Right <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh, that's Good a heartbreak. Here. Yeah. Dark that, yeah. goes down, but that's not, not exactly. No, it was a uh, valiant effort, but that Vix ultimate followed by what was it? Was it Farah? Farah came in, cleaned up. Yeah. Pretty much uh, the classic combo. Can't really go wrong with it. It's a good cleanup. So we're happy. Daily fusion good holds good. defense. But 80.1% is still a lot. I guess a tall order nonetheless. Correct. So let's see. Let's see if they can now do the penetrating. Let's, ho if let's see Philly how they can do, do it on themselves. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta restart this thing actually. You know, Crank, do you know if, um, see, there's some walls around the map, right? Do you know if you can go above these, like with a Thera, to flank? Or are you actually obligated to go through the main gate? You, I believe you can, no, okay. I, I don't believe you can go um, over the walls besides the gate. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because even the cameras can't cross, so I'm assuming that's a big no-no. Oh, I see. Yeah. I... Yeah, if I, I feel like if that was possible, I'd just do that every time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. I feel like we would know. Actually, you're right. <laughs> I feel like it, it'd be the go-to strat for everyone. Five, Slightly four, different three, position 
Two. of defense here One. on band. Attackers in Ooh, the really high ground high instead ground. of at the gate. See how this works. Hmm. You know, I guess it is good for Junkrat, but not for, you know, not for a long time, because they're, if there's no offense, they're not going to spend a lot of time to, down the main street. Just right, across the right, way. and as you can see, Philly can just slip through the gate and then exactly. up into the flank. Exactly, but... They can span the entrances, but the big old shield Reinhardt's a good character, so... Yeah, I was going to say, that's that's decent still, because they can, you know, because Junkrat can still throw his spam, but... They just countered it immediately. Like, it was no problem. I don't think that was a good position. Mm. You already have the, the best charge by the Reinhardt, but... No. See, the, they can pull through it, and it looks Justice like... They can do this. Tanks. Yeah, they, they can penetrate that easy. They have the people advantage, so... There you go. There you go, got they just... Throwing down the ulti, and, uh... She's just holding off as long as she can. <laughs> Oh, Luth Ninja, that feel good, good, but doesn't matter. Yeah, that was pretty weak of a hold, I think. Could yeah, it uh, gives too much space, I think. Yeah. I think it very much depends on their composition, whether they have enough shields to I mean, withstand. I mean, Reithar has like 2,000 shield, I think. Is that so, a lot of shield justice? It's it's more HP than any character in the game, I think. That's a big ol' shield. It's a big boy shield. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, man, not very well thought out, I think. Maybe maybe it works on very Ooh. specific situations. Very but... unfortunate. Just mercy pick there. Oof. Yeah, I missed that, but yeah. Just a lonesome fire strike. <laughs> and there you go, again, they're on the point. No one contesting. Oh, there you go. Jarpath throwing himself on there. And does get the Rhyme pick. Oof. Our all goes down. <laughs> Mercy again. Yeah. <laughs> Something. I think Philly... Philly's got this in the bag. <laughs> For yeah, hitting much. Very... Very questionable defense. From yeah, banned BTW, I would say. Yeah, I don't think they reacted fast enough in all cases, I don't even on the first point. I don't think that. I think their um, their positioning wasn't as great. <laughs> it was way that was off. The main factor. Oof. Now that play right there, the classic combo. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Uh, but yeah, first point. Uh, what were you saying? Got to change the scoreboard. Okay, thanks. I won't say enough. What you? So, crack. Justice. What is your optimal challenger level strategy for Ni uh, King's Row? Okay, for King's Row. Yes. Okay, what you do is you, you, s s for the, the defense, you slip a Reaper into the hotel. <laughs> mm. And then you go out, you press the W with the Reaper. You, you kill someone, and then once they notice you, you shift out before taking enough damage to die. Now, at what level of play did you learn that strategy? <laughs> As as a veteran, that was that was the uh, uh, uh pro probably uh gold. Oh, <laughs> a little a little underwhelming. A li little bit, but uh... I assume that you saw that strategy from the Overwatch League live right now on Twitch TV slash Overwatch League. You know, I think that's what it is. you know who's not live right now though? The Outlet League. Whoop boop. Is that the Outlet League theme song? No, I I'm pretty sure it goes like um 
tweet, 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 tweet. Okay. And then and then it goes into a a beat with that that tweet tweet and then like the the instruments build off of one by one and then it it builds up. Crank. How sick is that beat though? It is. It's I I I fucks with it. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I have to change these colors, don't I? Because they change the color. Yeah. Change sides. Okay, no subs for Philly. Can we crack? Can you take a look at this for a second? Is it in the video? Um, game? can you look at Apocalyptic's icon for a second? And tell me if to you as well it seems like a very low quality JPEG. Which which one was this? Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Icon. Apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. Am I wrong here, or <laughs> is this a bug? Wait. A <laughs> Why is it? What? Like you can see pixels. Yeah, yeah. That's not. That's not like a a te texture. That's just. That's just the big slitch. How is this real? <laughs> Blizzard is spending too much time on Overwatch League. Get your shit together. What is this? This is your brand new, high quality, challenger level icon. And it looks like this. Looks like a JPEG. This special event is a failure, Blizzard. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> It should not be this way. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a similar thing with one of the Overwatch logos. Like, either the white one or the black one. One of them kind of looks not as good. Yeah, and I have my... I have my graphic settings up. I mean, that wouldn't even, like... Considering this is just a JPEG on, like, a profile sheet, I don't even think it affects it. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just... Just it's just a pixelated image. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe was this the point? I, I guess it's supposed to be a cyber cyber futuristic thing, but usually the farther into the future you go, the less pixels you see, so I don't know. Sometimes technology we don't it's have. It's fine, we can move on. Sometimes we just don't have the technology justice. So, where exactly do you usually put your your Reaper? In your sick, high-level Reaper strides. So, second, the hotel. second floor of the hotel, right on this couch. I don't see, but the, I do the, see. The, ca the couch, uh... Oh, actually, I, I do see, yeah. Next to the, <laughs> next to the elevator, there we go. Yeah, yeah. You just, you just, you're sat on there, and then... Uh, once your team, after your team tries to kick you out for being useless, you just jump right in. Being <laughs> AFK. You jump in and you, you pound. Okay. Sounds like something I'll try out in uh, my next Overwatch games in like three months. Do you think banned BTW's defense? Or their offense right now will be better than their defense on Hanamura. Banned BTW, which is now the uh, the blue team. Um, yeah, man, I hope so. Defend I <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I don't see why Philly's defense would be bad. See, see they're going right in there, and I yeah. like that. That's a good strike. Yes, I like the uh, the uh, loud and proud. That strategy there. They did get the first pick as well, and the second one. No, wait, no, it's the wrong side. Wait, <laughs> yeah, no, it yeah. is. Hold on. Bleeding right some players. No, they got a absolute back backup. This is confusing, but yeah. So defense uh, strong for Philly Fusion. Yeah. Oh wait, 
No, you're, wait you're a confused minute. too. Exactly. Philly Fusion is the attacking side. Mm -hmm. So actually, Ban BTW's defense proves better on this map. Much better on this map than it was. Yeah, though, Philly's attempt to just slide right into that frontal DM. I think that's a good strategy here, but, you know, your picks have to follow as well. Right. That's kind of, that's pretty just, much the hardest part. You can't just uh, jump in and then uh, be there, as it yeah. turns out. You, you do have to do damage eventually. Oh. Very well timed Earth Shatter. Yep, that's four at least band. four players. And there you go. Oh. Philly just backing it up. They're not going to be taking it this time. But they do have Earth Shatter now and Mercy and Tyre soon. So they can, they can work something out. But on Band's side, Band has the Zen ulti on deck, which is pretty much the, the Cor biggest ulti counter. Correct. And if he, as long as he does not get caught up in the, the Rhine Smash. Mm. Or the Crossfire. Yeah. Like His right team now. is basically fine. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You know, let's hope they don't commit too hard to face. Although I guess they don't have that many, uh, that many tools at their disposal to do that since they only have three. Oh, there we go. They're engaging now. There we go. And that that is the cue for the Zen to uh, not not die very soon. Oh, a little too late on that Zen ulti. We already lost two players. I feel like he he might have wanted to to pop that as soon as they lost the uh, the Hanzo. Right, but uh, they get it though. Yeah, it's too late. Uh, Philly is walking in there, taking that point. At least the uh, um, the defense was much better <laughs> than Hanzo. Much than better. Hanzo around. They... It took at least at least the three tries. Stop the payload. <laughs> not, not, not the, one. not the, uh, the one push. Yeah, the one just walk in there. Oh, Christ. We're going for a close range Zarya ult, followed by the dragon. Classic. Classic strategy. But, you know, actually, I don't like that at all by band, because there were only three players there. Like, they had already, like, Correct, and inside. their spawn. So kind of their spawn is right there. Exactly. So, I think that was a waste. Little over that. Cool stride, but little over that. Yeah. Not, yeah. And now, see, they can't really stop him. They're just holding that choke. But even then, oh, actually, Ooh. no. There we go. I take back what I said. That's a... Fact, very, ultimate very good charge there. Very long-winded too. <laughs> slips slips out behind where his team is and uh, brings a Zarya back home with him. <laughs> oh, lucky man! He did. He, I think he he like jumped off of an explosion because he was in the air. Like he got there by flying. <laughs> and mind you, pl new players out there, Reinhardt does not have a flying ability. No, he does not. Yes. Have that. Yet, of course. It's not it's and, not like in Breath of the Wild where if you catch an updraft, you can just hold the shield up and then it'll bring you up. Oh goodness. That's his second big Big ulti. Big ult yeah. in uh, what seems like a minute. Did not bring back anyone home this time, but that was really fast. No. And Oh, he's at twenty. I saw him the other Reinhardt's ulti pop up and I was like, Oh he has it again. <laughs> Not this time. They don't seem to have enough pressure on the front line. They're really relying on that, uh, that Earth Shatter. Oh, Oof. Yeah, see if they can use this. No, doesn't seem like it. Not with that Zen. Oh, well, I was gonna say Big Shatter. It's good enough, I think. You can, you, you can definitely get some picks off of that. And Trading considering that one. the defense line is down. I think yeah, they can with just the Zarya there. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they took down the, uh, the soldier who got rest. You feel they can still use their dragon just to get everyone off of there. Yeah, it's a good zoning pool. I've yeah. Got you in my sights. I don't know why they haven't done As that, actually. As is this, however. <laughs> well, not if the Rhine Shield is up. 
Oh, there you go. Big ulti from Zarya, and everyone's wiped. There we go. Banned by the way. Nice work. I think I think Philly could have been a little more aggressive there, especially after the Ryan oh. went down on uh, on banned. Yeah, definitely. Like we said, using the dragon in this situation is pretty useful. I understand that you want to keep it for maybe a Zarya ult or a exactly. ult, but you get your dragons rather rather quickly, much quicker than you're going to get a Zarya ult. So right. It, you might as well. Utility uh, shouldn't be wasted. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. There it is. And he manages to pick up their other Hanzo with that one. Which, you know, not could, optimal, but... Could something. block on that Rhino. Yeah. Very, like, Zen ult was very well timed. You could say he could save that, uh, that air chatter. There you go. Other dragons exchanging, exchanging Hanzos again. And again, I don't, I don't think Philly Fusion Ooh. was aggressive enough on that. I think they could have, yeah. uh, pressured a little more than they did. Yeah, I think they went all in just because time was really running down there. Right. Oh, it didn't work out. I could have been a little... Well, obviously it could have been played better. But I think their biggest um, push was definitely the one before that they kind of fumbled and dropped and kicked them in, in their own goal because right. they didn't use their tools properly. But it's hard to tell. You don't have all the info sometimes. Do you... Yeah, you, you, do, you think... You really think if they played a little better, they would have gotten it? I, I think if they had the optimal strategy to take advantage of the enemy team's mistakes, they would have captured the point, yes. You know, that's a very astute observation. I agree. Thank you. Oh. Oh, there they are. Okay. King King's Rose, uh... The street's a little dirty now that I look at it. I know people. I know there's like superheroes fighting in it, but uh, where's the where's the waste management crew? Yeah, maybe Wait. they're. Uh, I see some signs here. Do you think they're having a strike? Can we write a sternly worded letter to to the prime minister or to I Jeff Kaplan himself no, or seconds. the queen? The queen. <laughs> That's true. She might want to get her hands on this. This is a little. You're right. It's not good for the image of the country. I want to hug you like big fuzzy Siberian bear. Would you let Zarya hug you like a big fluffy Siberian bear? I I would die. <laughs> I I would also perish. I believe. <laughs> we pretty much have the same constitution, I think, so yeah, uh, yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. What's this? Defending is... Defending side is, uh... Philly, right? So, no. That's correct. Philly. Yeah, Philly's going with that, uh, sick forest strat, but... Band is just walking Ooh. in there. Very good picks by the Ryan here. Add yeah. on Philly Fusion. Yeah. E D E D. You know, I thought they had the right idea with just walking in there, because Philly didn't look too ready, but everyone got picked up anyway, so I guess it worked out. Right. Do you think that spider mine, that widow mine's gonna just, just kill anyone? It could kill the Hanzo. He's, you know, walking towards that direction. Oh, no. Well, speaking of kills, Hanzo did get that widow. Oh! Maximum range Earth Shatter. Oh. No picks, though. Earth Shatter, he's... Earth Shatter is very long. That range is incredible. It is fantastic. And with that... There's fantastic charges on these Ryan. Yeah. And is, uh... He's putting work, to say the least. And there you have it. Another reset. One after the other. Is third try gonna be the right one? We're gonna have a repeat of last round. Like, like they say, third times the um, most likely. I do remember that saying, and I like it a lot. Exactly. I think this may be, uh, it's maybe adequate. You know, the more times you try, the better you get. Ooh. You know, I'm surprised that that ulti missed the Zen. 
Uh, it seemed on point to me, but... Ooh, I guess it didn't really matter. Because as you say, third time's the time most likely. Yeah, th third time's the uh, most likely. There you have it, Ban. Just take it. Third time's the most likely. Stop the payload. They do. They are rolling with the double sniper strats, so I guess they were pretty reliant on ulties or right This plays. is a little ambitious by the Rhine, but his team yeah. catches up with him. They're like, okay, settle down, technician. Oh. Bring, a little too crazy. bring in the leash there a little. Go resing that widow. Gotta make sure they're back on the front line. We're back by the guys. Considering it's a widow. And sub now getting sniped down by destroyer. <laughs> destroyer. I just noticed that's so good. He's playing Zen. And he's called Destroyer. Ooh, Amazing. I like I like that. Tanks guy. and Zen down on Chili Fusion. I don't know if they can I don't think they can. I think it's DNA. They can cover from the the followed by the far suicide. That's just a morale breaker. Come on, that's the end. They try. <laughs> Goodness. And BTW. And BTW. They did it. Yeah, they, they. Exactly. Is this the classic Zarya Dragon Strike combo? I believe it is. It wasn't. Oh. Actual plays and that's oh hey, <laughs> okay that was sick. Is as it turns out, you don't you don't need an ultimate ability to kill people that are just stuck there. Who would have yeah. thunk? I I don't know. It, it just seems like Dragon Strike and Rocket Barrage are so optimal that you'd want to use them every time. But sometimes it just be like that, you know. Sometimes it really do be like that. That was a sick play, though. <laughs> That's the bad guy. That, that was very good. Hanjo. Who was that Hanjo? Uh, Grumpy Zero. Grumpy Zero. He has the blue skull icon. <laughs> yeah. Skull. What is that icon, actually? Have you ever seen this? Competitive 6v6... Oh. 6v6 elimination competitor. Now, I don't know what that means. What is 6v6 com... 6v6 elimination, what is that? Uh, oh, that is the, uh... Deathmatch, I believe. Deathmatch? No, there's also competitive deathmatch competitor icons. Oh... Let's move on. <laughs> Shit, gotta change these team names. Because 6v6 is just basic format, so what is elimination? Is there... It's not... No, deathmatch is a free-for-all, right? Um, I need confirmation crap. There, deathmatch is free-for-all, you guys? Free-for-all and... Um, and 3v3, I believe. Well, I think it is. Which means that I guess... 6v6 elimination is just a team deathmatch? Guess so. Well, that's my theory. Whew. You here? You alright? Shit! Okay, you alright? <laughs> Production is, um... Well, Crackery, you you let me know when you're all right, okay? I'll, I'll let. I'll just uh, take a step back. I'll just take a seat, sip some tea, and. Uh, I wish I had some tea right now. Wait for your arrival. That'd be great. Oh, okay, I am I am R. <laughs> you are okay. A R E. You all right there? What happened? Had to uh, switch the. Cheeky little uh, team names. Ah, they switch sides. the classic. And add scores. I think you need to switch them after every match. Re 
We are probably going to get a quick one on this map, because, like, King of the Hill maps have been pretty fast and one-sided, as far as we've seen, so... Yeah, it's, uh, it does seem to be more one-sided on King of the Hill maps. Do you think, does that mean King of the Hill takes the most skill out of every other game mode? I, I think so, because you don't have map advantage. Like, King of the Hill is, it's a mirror map, right? Yes. So each side is mirrored. So terrain-wise, both no advantage. sides are the same. Yes. So yeah, I think it relies more so on your, like, individual player skills. Yes. Rather and than your, uh, you know. your, your hero picks. Yes, definitely. Because little little do people know, Torbjorn is not a suitable counter to Farah. Little little known fact, he is not the optimal opponent right. for a favorable Fara matchup. I, I read this in the, the Prima Overwatch guide. <laughs> Which we should all check out to level up our Overwatch level of play. You, if you see the the Overwatch League players on their breaks, they're just what they're just reading through the the Prima guide. Mm -hmm. Everyone does it. Every single player, no exception. Exactly. Every break. They just need to catch up, you know. So, is Overwatch League still going? I believe it ends. Around 11 p.m.? No, but I mean, like, uh, I meant more so, like, um, the seasons are still going? Like, it's not over yet. Is this not the, the finals that's happening right now? It could be. I've, I've stopped following six years ago, so... <laughs> six years? Overwatch League has been going for a while, dude. All right, we are we are entering the game. <sighs> Nepal. I like this map. I like all of King of the Hill maps. I think they're cool. I I agree. I agree. I think King of the Hill up there as uh, my favorite modes. Don't really like Oasis, but uh, except for except for the jump pad map. Thank you. But Which yeah. actually, speaking of jump pads, the following map is Junkertown, and its last point could, and I quote, be improved by adding jump pads on the last Ex point. Exactly. That's what it needs. Now, the rollout on this map is usually both teams going onto this side and battling for this high ground position. Yes. Do you think do you think this will happen? Uh both teams are pretty slow actually, so I don't know. Like we don't uh we also have a lever. No, that's a spectator. Um but yeah, both teams are kind of slow, so they're going to get there at the same time. No one's picking Lucio for that. Oh, well, I, I spoke too soon. I mean, Ooh. here we go. Band has a Lucio. 5 4 Lucio Zen three. Support combo. Meaning they will have the rollout Round advantage, one. and they're definitely oh, going yes. to the You're high ground it. position. It. Never mind, actually. Mm. They switched last second for the mercy. But they still went there first, so no problem. Farah can get Ooh, some shots in there. This is a bad feeling, walking through the choke when the entire team's on, already on the other side, and Ooh. that that's that's what happens in that situation. You just yeah. kind of <laughs> fold. And uh, you die. It's very interesting uh, how they uh, were able weren't able to make it at the same time as the other team because it seemed like they were doing the same rollout. But yeah. the blue team didn't even have a Lucio. I I I don't know. I think they kind of stopped in the uh, on the hill. They kind of stopped on the hill. Maybe they were waiting for the last second switch. Just to make sure everyone got there in time? I, I'm not sure. And there you have it. <laughs> Luth Ninja, just getting picked off by that, uh... Long-range Fara rocket snipe. The classic. 
you know, already like 30 percent like they've only had one engage and that was just a starting yes very yeah. good uh hold by by the blue team here using that Farah, take advantage <laughs> of these rockets that had, yeah just to hide the rockets Rock rockets are are good weapon yeah it's a pretty powerful tool to say the least you know, I thought they were going to go and try to have Hanzo get some some picks from the side, but they know they just opted to have him in the middle of the team. <laughs> He's trying to get that far though. And uh, what's ooh, another thing to note is that Philly Fusion does have hit scan. They they have uh, McCree, but ooh, that's uh, true. The the thing, not many uh people I play with seem to realize it's a lot easier to dodge hit scan as Farah than it is to hit uh, a Farah with hit scan. But also they have the Farah Mercy combo, which exactly. is pretty much like, you know, this hit scan's a counter to Farah. I don't think that's entirely true. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but you know, I feel like it's pretty hard to hit scan. Uh, not in good every Farah. situation in that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because the height advantage, like, depending on how far the Farah is, it makes your shots pretty much just meaningless, especially if they have a Mercy on her. Exactly. You need to take care of the Mercy first, and the Farah's gonna shoot at you while you're doing that. So, it's tough. But while we were talking about this, Philly took back that point and had a but will big old they hold it? There. That's a good charge, but it? can they follow up? I don't know. Yeah, I think they're gonna hold that. Uh, or rather, I think the band is gonna take that back. And they just did. They had just too many players on the point for Philly to really stand a chance there. And yeah, you see the D.Va just trying to get some time in there. Trying to make sure that her team gets enough to come back and contest. But usually these strats don't really work out unless you have ulties. Which they don't. <laughs> Go and that should be around. Terror barrage. Play hunting. Into the iris. Suiting up. So yeah, kind of one-sided again, but at least they got back on the point. It's not a shut. It wasn't a shutout. Yeah, not a complete shutout. It was for a while though. These guys were not advancing. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you think? Do you think they use right at the gate the Lucio boost, and then after that immediately immediately switch to Mercy? Do you think that's how they got the uber fast rollout? Is that uh, even possible? I mean, no, because it would only affect the first player. No, they they then... just did it. They just did it again. They just did that's it. How they did it? Yeah. It's a thing. That, that's I don't know if this thing. is optimal because I feel like it would only affect for a second. Considering you're switched, I so it's a very slight movement boost. Maybe I it does. Think look. That's I all you know. need, actually, is that second of boost. Ooh. It could be. I mean, good early pick on the fair now. If it works, it works. I don't the res, but can't quite. Get it. Well, at least it had a far exchange there. Very excellent. It's not too bad. You can see that Philly is all the way on the enemy team's side, like, Band is just sitting in their corner. M un not unlike their Hanamaru try, which did not work out. <laughs> Though I guess Philly is stuck in their own corner this time. Oh, no, they're coming back. They're gonna have a frontal... duel, I guess, team-on-team -team duel. You know, sharp shot, just a little too far on the enemy team. Not a good position to find yourself in here, Pharah. But it does seem like Band has the advantage right now, none of lies. Do you feel like contesting? Ooh, I don't know, I think it's stick around though. Yeah. Oof. There you go. There's the tick. Philly is not exactly in a bad position either. Like, they can easily take that back, I think. But. Band does have three ultimates, so they would need to take out the Zen at least, or maybe the you know either of the supports just to get a real good advantage. Do you like this yeah. this position by Band? Kind of 
Mostly on the outskirts of the point. Well, they're very spread out as well. Which means that it's easier for Philly to get some picks, but none of none have happened so far. Even with the uh, sneaky Ooh, there's one. Yeah, yeah there's the one, exactly. A uh, big mace of that dragon. And it doesn't look like they'll really be able to uh, No, I, I take that back. It's the opposite. They're really taking advantage of that. Oh, very but big deep bomb. But not anymore. You got bombed out. Really dropped that bomb on that team. God damn. Well, shout outs to uh, Fox from that Devol team. That was good. Really, uh. Well timed really and well placed. Yeah. Yeah. Well timed, well placed, yeah. You know, um, I think, um. Let's see. Philly has Earth Shatter, they have Barrage, they're gonna have Diva Bomb, they have Sand Ulti. It's about well, time like they drop it down into the side chamber there. Ooh. Will they be able to do anything though? Because Reinhardt is too far for any sort of Earth Shatter. That's why they have Diva Bomb, which took out Zen and the Crystal. And the oh, Bongo. The Bongo. <laughs> No one's taking care of that Baron. He's just taking shots on the team. Oh no, I'm feeling. And as it turns out, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a wash. And uh, holding strong there. Very strong. So that's this a, is the second map in a row. That that's a, that's an interesting Lucio rollout strat. Yeah, I've never seen that. I did not know that that was a thing. I guess the Lucio, um... I mean, if it makes this possible, then... It clearly it works. It's clearly worth it. Yeah. I, I, you know, I thought that the, um, the speed boost was only working within the circle, but I guess it has a, a timed effect. Like, it works for a couple seconds at least. But yeah, shoutouts for shoutouts to Destroyer. Playing the game, not surprised. You know, if you're a Zen player named Destroyer, you pretty much you're in there. You're in the zone. And now it's Destroyer. two one four banned BTW. I think. Well, what was what was the name of that guy in the? Can you confirm this? The Overwatch League uh, trailer. Well, it's like Destroyer no confirmation, but that's okay. Something. I think I think this information is correct. And last map, as stated earlier, is going to be Junkertown again. Unfortunately, in our casting career in the Owlet League, we have yet to we have yet to face Watchpoint Gibraltar. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. One of my favorites by far. Do you like my cat, Justice? Uh, I mean, I don't know your cat personally. I like, I, I, I think it has a uh, favorable appearance. Yeah, uh, pretty kid. I guess I like it. It's fine. But how would you, um, how would you rate your cat? As someone who lives with, with this creature. Easy. Um, ten out it's of. It's not. It doesn't sound very favorable. Ten. I put the pro in professional. <laughs> if you say so. Um, there, uh, yeah, there's a reason why the casters in big tournaments do not also do the production, as it turns out. 
Well, why do you think that is, Crack? If you can, if you have a theory for the audience, I I think the only way you could do it is if you uh, trained both of your legs. So you have a set of a mouse and keyboard uh, as a footrest, and you're using that one to do the production on a separate screen, and and you're using your y- your hands. To do the observing, and like you're using your mouth to do the talking. That's that's how that is possible. Fuck. Okay, that's a that's a theory like any other. And followed by these uh, the series of swears. I'm assuming something is going. <laughs> it's uh, not switched, going well on the production side. I, I switched on the uh, the webcam real quick there. But uh, no worries. I thought it was live. wasn't live. It was on the preview monitor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it turns out OBS Studio Mode, very useful for these types of productions with uh, multiple screens of graphics. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? An application made for that purpose is actually doing its job. 2018 is a crazy year for tech. The current year is, in fact, pretty uh, pretty wild for technology. Dude, I can play a big-ass Zelda game on the toilet with the Switch. And that is the uh, Nintendo Switch Entertainment Console. In an area that is, f- like, 50 times bigger than Twilight Princess. Technology, technology is now. It's, my the cat, switch is now. My cat is jumping on the chair. There he goes. What a handsome boy! He is a prit kit. That cat you see right there. I don't is see sitting it. behind me right now. <laughs> yeah, you know why you don't see it, Justice? Because we're not, not lying. <laughs> Now, why are we not live, Crack? Why is this? I do not remember. Because big old Daddy Jeff needs his Overwatch League views. Because he wagged his big sausage finger and said no. Because oh, the Owlet League would attract too much. J- the combination of Justice and Crackery casting is too much. Obviously. Too. It it would divert too much. Yeah, it would create too much of a. Uh... Divergence in viewership from the official Overwatch League, hosted personally by Jeff himself, <laughs> in his basement. Played, played by Jeff. Himself. And from also his casted by Jeff himself. I love Jeff. Jeff Kaplan, truly a man of many talents. I wish Jeff was my father. I wish, I wish Jeff was my husband. So if anyone has Jeff's number, do uh, send me, hit me up in the DMs. Put, oh, yeah, uh, put, put them, put them digits in our DMs. I, I'd like to get in contact, to say the least. Now, this first point, obviously, the dominant strategy seems to be pirate ship. Bastion, followed by Orissa and Reinhardt, or either of those two. Now... The ways to beat the strategy, it seems, is to either be sneaky deaky and sneak the team onto the right of the point, right of the spawn here, as we've seen by mm-hmm. deadlocking. Yes. Or I believe another time there was a reaper that hid in this place and oh, then leaped could, out. Could onto be. The... I'm there not was... our uh, on staff reaper observer, so I'm not sure. Although there was also. <laughs> A Reinhardt by the main the name of <laughs> Danger Man Twenty Five that hid mm-hmm. in this <laughs> in this Which shack it was <laughs> a bit of a failure of a strategy, but a, his a name little did bit. stand up to time. A little bit. He traded the uh, the to get a mercy in exchange for his a life, a lot of ground, and his life. Yeah, but uh, not optimal. Not not the dominant strategy. 
as it turns out. That that big old shield is uh, better used elsewhere. Well, considering he didn't use it at all in that <laughs> in that particular strategy. <laughs> That's true. Five, four, three. Very bold. One. So, uh, let's see. Philly is on the attack, and they've got a uh, a Genji. We haven't seen a lot of Genji in this uh, in these matches that we've cast. Yeah, yeah. Opting not to go for the pirate ship strategy. Very That's interesting. True. Very bold. Again, I guess they're going for a more uh, traditional uh, comp. Not so cheesy. I don't know if that's gonna work as as well though. I, I haven't seen Genji really put in a lot of work so far. Yeah, and it again, seems like they're eating a lot more damage than they're able to dish out. Hmm. Oh, there you go. We already have a pick from the Philly side. Oh, rather the but band he's side. Immediately, and they lose the Genji to a widow. She's uh, supposed to be uh, not the most favorable favorable matchups for a widow, but it always depends on the distance. Depends if you're a pro lead phase clan or not. Oof. Which ad might just be after that uh, that counter on the widow, going for that revenge play. Well, the fusion advancing now. Yeah, they're they're working this. No, little known fact, um, Bastion is not the only viable strategy on this map. You can win without it, too. As oh. Whoa! That got a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah, very, um... Got a little very, more than I anticipated. Very technical play for Mara. Local diva player here. On the band BTW side. Uh, quad. Easy quad. Press Q. Get a quad. Classic. This is Overwatch, after all. And there we go. Philly is back, uh, back on the reset. No choice. Fire in the hole! Tire coming through. From the far side. I... Picks up the Widow there. The widow gets rest, though. But see, I don't like these strategies. I've seen a lot of tires go get a little too greedy. And get like one pick out of them. Yes. Or Little shut down completely. Too ambitious, especially in yeah. not being insisted. Oh, did you see picks that? up two? One with the widow mine. I yeah, with that Zen who got popped into the air, but the widow poison just got to him. Yeah. Got through to his poor robot heart. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't couldn't find the the Pokemon Center quick enough, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. That's a big sad. So, we've got one minute left on Philly, and they are still rolling. They've got three ultis right now. They could, uh, almost four. They could go for a big Graviton followed by Dragon Blade, but... Already got a pick. He got raised. No worries. His Widow's back on deck. So they definitely need to pull out something of their big-ass bag of tricks. Oof. Speaking of big ass bags of tricks, we got a Sombra ulti, which hit pretty much the entire team. Always leave yourself a back door. Very good defense here by Ban BTW, making up for uh, Hanamura, it seems. Oof, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely, they have definitely made up for Hanamura at this point, I think. <laughs> they they saved all their defense points for, for this map. Yeah. Resistance. Oh, we're going in. We're pooping everything. It's the classic. Things, There's 10 seconds left. Things Let's go. are happening. Ooh, but with the Mercy really, and the Zara down. Uh, yeah, nothing favorable know, for, uh, oh uh, Philly. See, um, you know, I think we got a little hasty there earlier. We agreed that Bastion was not the only viable strategy, but clearly, clearly it is. St statistically. <laughs> it just speaking. is the strategy, it seems. It's the most favorable. Oh, that How big... feel about that shatter? You know, I, I didn't feel anything, because it didn't hit anyone. <laughs> Not the greatest shatter. I, it needs a little bit of work, I think. Now, see, I hope for 
of Philly that they've got this strat on deck. They know what they're doing for defense because they're gonna they're gonna need a six run. That payload is not far. <laughs> now, Bastion is meeting already. Triple tank with Bastion. <laughs> oh boy. No, Reinhardt though, which I think is a uh, little unorthodox for a pirate ship strat. Hmm. I mean, I guess they're trying to survive the inevitable, potentially inevitable, Junkrat spam with the Diva. They might try to get I some see. cheeky hooks. I'm I'm not sure what they're going for. Definitely not optimal. Yeah. I think Reinhardt is definitely one of the best picks for Pirate Ship because Reinhardt as a character is really, really strong. Big ol' 2,000 two health shield, as you pointed out earlier. Yes, and a big-ass hammer that does 75 damage per hit in, a, in an AoE fashion. God, I wish that hammer was me. <laughs> God, I wish that hammer hit me. Attackers but, in 30 seconds. see, Philly, they're going for the uh, Sombra strategy, which I'm no fan of. Especially on defense, if the payload is... Yeah, it didn't seem... Band had a Sombra as well mm. on the defense last zone, and Which even though they won, they I, don't, I don't know if it was very impactful. Mm, yeah, I didn't see that many picks from Sombra, I think. Could have been... Could could have a bunch of assists. We don't... We can't see that. But, oh, you see, see they expected a Sneaky Beaky, so they put the shield sideways immediately. <laughs> Now, can you... Can they survive? withstand the force of the pirate ship? And I think the I think the clear answer is no. I... Yeah, it doesn't seem... doesn't seem yeah, like... Yeah, I think Ban BTW has the, uh, has the quick win there. Oh, actually, I see, I see what they were doing with the, with the uh, Sombra. I think they're trying to hack the Bastion so that he I goes see. out of turret. I don't I know see, if that works. Does that work? I... I don't think it... I don't know if it... Puts him out of turret form, but it at least stops his firing at you, which uh, is the primary function of a bastion. Does it actually stop the firing? I believe so. I don't think that's right. I feel like he can Either... still mouse. He can't heal though. That's correct. Yeah. He definitely can't heal. Well. He doesn't exactly need to heal if he has a mercy and two shields and uh there we yeah. Go. Well, yeah. very good play by ban btw there uh, not yeah, not uh, not really with the meta i think philly fusion is uh yeah they had a couple tries uh a couple of uh cheesy tries like i i i the... know I know it's a, a favored meme of mine, but I do think the sneaky reapy strat on defense is an effective way of countering that specific strategy. That pesky bastion strat? I will, I will stick to this sentiment. You will stick to your guns, to your own firearms, which you do not throw away because you are not a reaper player. But you are a reaper enthusiast. Very enthusiastic. Well, I think Reaper's a good strat. It's definitely Reaper's definitely an underused character. I think he can put in some work, but it's just yeah. not that popular. Yeah. Here you go, Vance PTW. Big thumbs ups. So you guys made it. Definitely, uh, definitely made it back from that. Uh, excellent, or not so excellent. Excellent in quotes. Uh, Hanamura's defense strategy. Yeah, I think they need to to. Uh, take a look at their Hanamura strat. Reevaluate. <laughs> GG's. But besides that, very good play. Good, good games. Good, very uh, excellent casting by ASMR specialist Justice. And Crackery, the brother himself. There we go. It's the end of it.